G'day, and welcome to Market Exam After Work. Today I want to do a video, uh, another one of those videos or information videos on things that I presume most people know, and a lot of people probably do, but it's something that I find uh, very natural and I think some people don't. What am I talking about? Well, I'm actually talking about, as the title of the video says, in the way of better aiming, but I'm actually talking about the shooter's vision and how much information you've got and how to use that information. So when I tried to put this video together, it started around the aim small, miss small. For what that largely means is you're focusing, you're aiming at a small part of your target. And most, the easiest way to do that and the way that's done on your paper target or that's done in a lot of competitions, in a lot of formats is put a small dot in the middle of whatever your target is and that is what you're actually aiming at. You aim at that. Uh, you correct to that. Everything's done about that small dot. The smaller and but still very visible dot that you've got to aim at, the finer point of aim you've actually got. Um, and listen, that's all well and good in a target situation, in a, in a paper target situation, in a competition situation where you have that small dot there. That's all well and good and it works great. And it is how to get your smallest group. But I've found in a practical sense, a lot of targets don't want you to put a small dot on them. It's hard to pull that off. So you've got to work with what you've got. Um, in my format, I um, use it. It is, it is still a, I suppose, form of competition. It's what I do. I use a 24 inch steel plate. But that's it, it's a white steel plate. Now out at 3,000 yards and 4,000 yards and 5,000 yards, that is a small dot we're talking about. But even in that situation, what I do, regardless of the distance and regardless of the target, what I do and quite naturally do, is I section a target. So what am I talking about? That means I have trained myself or naturally come up with it I, I'm through my job, through my work, through my fabrication, engineering slash mechanics, slash all the bits and pieces I do, I'm always able to quite visually see that target in a square target, a round target, a potato shaped target, it doesn't really matter, but see it in half, see it in quarters, see it in eights, see section short, see uh, for a better way, for a simple way of trying to describe it, be able to cut it up into a grid. Now this is something that I believe anyone can train themselves to do and I think it's a very valuable thing to train yourself to do. Um, it doesn't just mean when you're shoot, looking through your rifle scope you need to do it or your spotting scope you need to do it. I tend to, to, to train yourself to do it, you, you do it all the time. Just naturally looking at things. You look at a dinner plate, you look at your coffee cup, you look at your beer glass, you look at the the um <laughs> the the doorway you look at the down the road you look at a letterbox you look at whatever it is and see the center so that does take practice it does take um, learning that can be looking at a photo and picking a spot and putting a pen on it and actually then then measuring it and seeing if you're picking to the right spot but basically what i'm talking about is if you can look at a target and section it the easiest way to describe this is with a duplex reticle for those that don't know what that means, that's a simple set of crosshairs. You can put it on any target, a square target, a round target, a diamond target is probably the easiest one to show it on because a diamond target, you can simply, if you have a vertical diamond, so the diamond is straight up and down, and you have your crosshairs straight up and down, when you get it dead centered, you'll find that the corner of each of those targets is lined up with each of the duplex crosshairs. So it's right there and that gives you dead center. The truth of it is that gives you the advantage of the corners out here, but you can do that no matter what the shape. No matter what the shape, you should be able to see those crosshairs without seeing the crosshairs. So you should be able to find that center and put that center on there. And that simply means that if you've got it off center, this side is bigger than that side. If you've got it lower than center, then the top is bigger than the bottom. But by naturally training yourself to see that, means that you can see a dot in the center without having a dot in the center. Um, this also um, translates into when you're trying to get onto target is if you can see your target and visualize that and stack another one, along, another one alongside it, then you can see whether you're one target to the right or two targets to the right. When you're trying to get yourself into a smaller place, you can then take that same grid and extrapolate it out. So one target in the middle of a, of a frame, 
you, in, if you train yourself to do this, you can stack them alongside to where you can end up with a 16 target grid in your head. So I suppose that's about as complicated as I need to get here. Um, what I'm actually trying to say is that a, a feature which I feel is very valuable is learning how to section your target, learning how to do it that way. Um, and that is going to give you the ability to use all crosshairs, all reticles, all different styles of scopes, but it also lets you look at an image, look at a, um, look through your field of view and be able to talk more clearly about it. But largely this is about, as the video says, aiming better. And by you being able to naturally find the center of something means that then whether your reticle has all the information on it or not, you can do it faster and cleaner and you can also dissect to give yourself even more information by doing those same things. So I suppose that may be a little bit complicated. I'll put some images on there to try and make sense of what I'm trying to describe there. It does come down to, I've heard this from many years ago, old target shooters using simple duplex radicals and still being able to outshoot people with natural skill or oh, sorry, they were out shooting people with all the equipment in the world and the best scopes in the world with all the holdover points and with a simple duplex reticle they're able to do it. And they would go on about, this is simply about sectioning a target, lining it up properly, making sure you're working with the equipment you have in front of you. And I suppose ultimately what I'm trying to gain is more flexibility in shooters um, and build skill. So that does mean about using all the information. And this video is about trying to use all that the field of view information as thoroughly as you can. Anyway guys, I hope you liked the video. Um, leave any thoughts or comments below um, and thanks for checking in and we'll catch you next time.